This is a modern day hipster van. Old Toyota Previa, you're not new and no one cares. The Toyota Previa is a mid engine minivan which, over the past 10 years from 2010 to 2020, has rose in myth because of its unique engine layout. Mounted aft of the front wheels and underneath the front seats, a 2.4 liter 2TZ FE lies almost on its side at a 75 degree angle and exhales through one of the most beautiful exhaust headers I've ever seen on any production car. Look at them. They spiral like Twizzlers. Putting the engine in the middle of the car means you can have a stubby low nose, which gives you tremendous front visibility. It's the best I've ever seen on any just regular commuter family car. It also makes engine maintenance a frustrating and confusing slog, like learning Algebra 1 from a teacher who doesn't care and who teaches way too fast. You're either accessing the block from under the car, or you're snaking your arms through two access panels underneath the seats. All the accessories are in a fake engine bay up front driven off a dowel run from the crank pulley. Toyota called this metal rod a supplemental accessory drive system. What I don't understand is why Toyota thought this underpowered space van would work within North America's big mountain energy. Toyota called this a multi-purpose vehicle. At least that's what Toyota says. A multi-purpose vehicle. Don't BS me. It's a minivan. And the styling of these cars blurred the lines of the late 80s futurism and the early 90s blobism more than Jane's addiction. It seems to exist in two eras, but truly belonging to neither. MPVs were born with the Japanese market Toyota Space Cruiser van in 1983 and culminated in what was considered the first mid-engine MPV seven years later, the Toyota Previa. Now, you wouldn't think that the only car ever built by a major auto manufacturer to feature a mid-engine all-wheel drive configuration with an optional supercharger would be a freaking minivan, but here we are. The Previa is the undeclared major of cars, sponsored by living in a perpetual state of crossing that bridge when I get to it. The Previa is carried on the winds of fate and whatever public place gives him the greatest odds of seeing feet. Now these were brought to life as a replacement for the Toyota Van. That's it. That was the name. The Toyota Van. Just like the Toyota pickup. The year was 1990, and minivans were still very much on brand for America. You could get the Previa in rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. The five-speed manual transmission was standard, while the four-speed automatic was optional. Although in America, most of these cars you'll see will be the automatic. The 2TZ FE engine makes a ballpark 135 horsepower and 150 foot-pounds of torque. Also, this is the rear-wheel drive configuration that adds LE features like four-wheel disc brakes and an optional anti-lock system. What was Toyota thinking? Chrysler already did the market research in 1984. The OG minivan, at first, was a naturally aspirated four-banger and nope, we didn't want that. The V6 option came fast and changed the landscape of not just this country, but the entire hemisphere. You're telling me that you're going to load this egg up with seven people plus beer and bocce balls and drive to Beaver Stadium with 135 horsepower and 150 torque? Are you high? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The supercharged engine came later, but that only got you 158 horsepower. That's 23 more. And now you're putting 91 octane in your family van. This is a problem for Toyota. When you consider the whole point of the Previa was to give the Dodge Caravan a run for its money since Toyota was getting it in every orifice in the U.S. family vehicle market, thanks to Chrysler, between the Caravan, the Plymouth Voyager, and the town and country. We're not even going to talk about Ford and the Windstars, or the Chevy Astro van. Although rumors were that Lee Iacocca was madder than a nutless squirrel about all this, Toyota was trying to move in on his territory against his creation. And yet, whether that was Toyota's intention or not, the closest the Previa came to succeeding was by outselling the Toyota van that preceded it. But even with the increase in storage space that should have appealed to family buyers, the engine thing was hard to get past. America is the land of power. Great, big, shady maple smorgasbord handfuls of power throbbing 
engorged tentacle veined phalluses of power fully erect and prepared to ruin wallpaper like a 21 dick bukkake salvo in a triple a rate room at a howard johnson's toyota previa the official car of guys with review channels who end each review by destroying a copy of whatever they're reviewing 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 1993 toyota previa a car for someone whose personality is finding themselves previa a vessel for conversations that start with Today, I found myself at Stir and Scoff Coffee Company with a tall espresso. Really, Jeremy? That's how your story begins? Not 30 minutes earlier, when you got a bank account notification that your parents' bank-to-bank -bank transfer went through into your account? And Jeremy. It's called skipping class, not self-care. When you drive a Previa, you're saying to the roadscape, I'm doing it the hard way. Therefore, my drive is more valid. I am suffering more than you. Therefore, my opinions have more electoral votes. See how I tie myself to the mercy of the parts counter, like perils of Pauline refusing to leave until they phone all the other stores for a water pump. Toyota Previa, for your boy toy partner, who is a little short on the rent this month because they bought a recreation Victrola. They're suddenly into Miles Davis because they saw that American Dad episode with Nighthawk's Hideaway. But it's okay, because this 110-pound cylinder of perfect hair and suffrage is your muse. How does it drive? It's slow, even by minivan standards. The kickdown just makes more noise, and the overdrive feels like the engine wants to stall. This Tomorrowland dashboard and center console, my, my dick is a corrupt senator, will always be the center point and conversation piece for any passenger that sits in the front. This car has been lowered, but the spring rates haven't changed, meaning any big bump you hit means you're going to hit the cross member in the front. There's nothing this car does that a Dodge Caravan won't. And nowadays, first-generation Dodge Caravans, especially the turbo models, get as many eyeballs as a Previa does. The interior build quality, though, is usual early 90s Toyota brilliance. It's got that going for it. But again, I'm not really talking about how it drives, because it doesn't. If someone started driving this and they didn't know it was mid-engine, they wouldn't know. This isn't an MR2, no matter how many keyboard warriors will say that it is. I enjoy looking at it. I enjoy being in it. I enjoy smelling it. But that's about it. Driving a Toyota Previa around is like getting on a plane with an original Game Boy and listening to it with the original headphones. Toyota Previa, a van for people who think being random is a personality. But even with all these things running against the 1993 Previa LE, it's... It has a certain niche appeal among enthusiasts. Nick, the owner, bought this from a customer at his local Nissan dealership. The van was towed into the shop with a valve cover gasket that was puking its balls out, among other issues. The owner was a man in his 60s and eventually sold it to Nick for $400, showing up for the transaction in a convertible classic Beetle. And since then, Nick has repaired or replaced everything from the water pump to the radiator spark plugs, the fuel filter, the air filter, that valve cover gasket, front and rear shocks, front sway bar end links, and a knock sensor. It has hubcaps from a 1993 Toyota Camry, and it currently sits at 205,000 miles. And he took it on a 1,200 mile road trip to California in February, and got 20 miles per gallon doing 70 on the highway. So yeah, it runs, even if it wasn't born to, in a sort of Bruce Springsteen way. This is a car whose name comes from the Italian word for providence, or foresight. You would think Toyota would have seen the writing on the wall, but the Previa somehow survives. Like a pack of wild ferrets. Old Toyota Previa, you're not new and no one cares. You are old, are not new. What more could I think you'd be? Old Toyota Previa, you are such a Previa. Yay.